Welcome to another episode of Pick and Pop. We talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules back in the house. Hey, everyone. Woo! Woo. And we got Anthony Newbill in the house. How y'all doing? Let go. Now, we all hear about getting the last laugh and things, but some people like to take it too far. So apparently a guy from Ireland thought it would be funny to have a voice recording of himself during the funeral as they're putting him into the dirt. Hello? 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 Let me out! That would freak me out. Hello? Let me out! Fucking here. I mean, I think I would have turned around and walked away at that point. I would have been like, man, did I just waste my time in tears? I think this is something I would totally do. Oh, yeah. Like, like, I, I would oh, totally yeah. pull someone out and be like, yo, yo, okay, so pre-record some. I'm going to do like a rap verse. You say a rap verse? You yeah, I'll be mean, like, yo, 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 I'm six feet under. I look back, yo. I, I love, I love it. Like most, most everyone is smiling. Kind of like they're, they already know, right? I mean, they're not really dressed in funeral attire. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, some people are in sweatpants. I'm like, that, that's yeah, an interesting I mean, choice. Like, look like they just roll out of bed for this prank. <laughs> Yo, but this grandma looks shook. <laughs> she is. She is. I don't think anybody filled her in. I think they left her out. Yeah, I think this everybody left grandma out. It's kind of dangerous if you don't let somebody know, though, because, I mean, funerals, that takes a lot of emotion. And if you don't know and you hear that guy's voice, like, and you think that that's real, yeah, if someone could have a heart attack. Yeah, if somebody I knew did this, I wouldn't find it really funny. I no. Mean, like, bro, like, I thought you were dead. I know. Like, this is not, <laughs> that, that's not funny. So that's Tupac should have done this. I mean, oh, we're laughing oh, I don't right know now. About that. Oh. <laughs> so like, hey, Yo, I'm this, still alive. Go this this would be the Don't perfect time, right? This um, many years later would be the perfect time absolutely, for Tupac. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, that lady is still not laughing. I mean, like she's trying to mourn whoever that is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like that, yo, that one lady is laughing and crying at the same time. She's like, she don't know, she don't know what to do. Everybody is still standing around while he's saying, help me. Like nobody's actually looking around at each other like, wait, hold on, do y'all hear him? Wait, get yeah. him. Like, so then, so y'all wouldn't be down to do this? I think. I wouldn't go to this extent. I'm down for pranks, but not this extent. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. I would probably end up really much. dying having heart attack being in that casket. Yeah. It's taking it too far. Yeah. A little bit. You you can do it for sure. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. You are gonna do it. Like, yeah, just don't invite to. me. All right. Just, just, don't, just don't invite me. To, well, Matt is the type will probably like cremate himself, and then you'll just hear "Hello" coming from his ashes. Yes. Like, somehow, yes, some way. Like, yes, he'll just be yes. speaking from his ashes. I want to party at my funeral too. Get drunk. Get lit. Hey, Y'all heard it here. Yeah. Meet right? your yeah. loved one at my funeral, please. <laughs> wow. Wedding oh. Crashers <laughs> 2077. <laughs> Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. In another episode of Man vs. Wild, a bunch of bears got into a man's house in Lake Tahoe. This was his reaction. You better get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> you better get out of here! You better get out of here! The bear is clearly getting out. He's like, get on, get! <laughs> There's no door. I mean, but I want to know, like, how did the bear get in your house? Yeah, how did it get in? Well, he probably left the sliding door unlocked. Usually that's how it's happened. It's, it's common, but you're dumb for doing that. But yeah. <laughs> Especially in an area like that, Lake Tahoe. No. I saw this video of this one woman. She said that she left her door open because she wanted a bear to come in just to see one. Like, woman. What? Do you know how long this man's claws are and his teeth are? Like, I, okay, he gonna be in your home. Boy. Have you not seen the Revenant? Have you not seen the Revenant? Right. Do you see what happens? Goldilock bears. <laughs> Breaking into houses. They was looking for some porridge. We have our resident bear expert, Anthony Newbill. <laughs> <I know. laughs> the battle for LA has officially begun. And with that comes the reveal of the new LA Clippers uniforms. Check it out. Yo, I'm... I'm a big Yo. fan. And now looking at this picture here, man, these guys look tough. Not even just from the jerseys alone. The jerseys themselves look very cool. It's very LA. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, but I mean, it's like more gangster. Like, I mean, I mean, someone's yeah. trying to clown on them saying they look like the LA Times font, but to me, I'm like, nah, those look mm. dope. Like that yeah. is like that, that's that's LA. It's I, like old old English. Like, like whenever you think of the word Los Angeles, like you think of it in that font. 
Fashion Nova has recently come under attack for ruining Halloween and people's childhoods because some of the outfits, I guess, are a little too skimpy. And here's uh, Fashion Nova's Woody from Toy Story. How does this ruin someone's childhood? First off, that's a hot outfit. You can, I mean, just by looking at it, you can tell where this outfit is going to be at. In the clubs, late night, late night Halloween, adult Halloween parties. And yeah, and I feel like the Halloween stores and like Party City have been doing this for years. So I don't know why they're attacking Fashion Nova. I love yeah. Fashion Nova. You know, we got Buzz Butt Year. <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> Buzz butt here, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That, that's, oh, that's real. Oh man, I, th I think they called this one to infinity and beyond, but I, I like that name better. Well, they they should have that, put that's that. That's definitely to infinity and beyond. <laughs> well, would you rock this? Would you rock this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, there's plenty of women out there that I'll, rock this. I'll, I'll wear all those. Yeah, this, this is definitely my favorite one right here. Okay, <laughs> like, like who? Who's <laughs> no, like, no, the, 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 out, the costume, the outfit. I like her glasses. Yeah, yeah, that is a, it's a great costume. It's, it's one of my costume. favorites as well. <laughs> See, any woman wearing that, it would be very sexy. Like, whose childhood is yeah. this ruining? Like, obviously, every male would probably like <laughs> that. What, what y'all gonna be for Halloween this year? I don't know. Probably Gosh. the same thing I am every year. Yeah, Matthew, Matthew Jordan. Year. Matthew uh, Jordan. What? Black Santa Claus. Black Santa? Black Santa Claus? Yeah. Every year. <laughs> okay, wait. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to the cranky Halloween candy lady. So apparently this lady went viral for complaining about how in years past people have been giving out cheap candy and she's not a big fan. So uh, as you can see, uh, this is in Rancho Cucamonga and uh, she tagged Neighborhood Watch. <laughs> I know that was a Neighborhood Watch issue, but okay. She said, everybody be on the lookout. There's some broke people around here. <laughs> PSA, Halloween is officially four weeks away and I was hoping to catch you all before you make your candy selections. Over the last three Halloweens, I've noticed candy stock has become more and more diluted with cheap candy. Cheap candy has somehow infiltrated our community for Halloween, and it has to stop. This woman sounds like that they're mad that they're not getting the candy that they want. I, I just thought she says like infiltrated, like there's like a disease or like something going around that's like really harming individuals, like a measles outbreak. She goes on to say, Dum Dums, Smarties, and Jolly Ranchers may be suitable for Ontario, Fontana, and even Montclair, but not here in Rancho Cucamonga. So rude. <laughs> we are in a fluent neighborhood, and this status should be reflected in our candy provisions for Halloween. Okay, oh, first mm. of all, I'm from Montclair. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Um, but Jolly Ranchers and Dum... What you have against Jolly Ranchers and Dum Dums? I love like, Jolly I Ranchers. Smarties. I but one thing that stood out to me about what she said was that maybe these candies are a good fit for these certain cities. I was like, <laughs> right? Oh! I don't know each city needed its own <laughs> specific candy. If, if if you're the writer of this article, candy is candy. Let me tell you, <laughs> it's it's all good. Except Almond Joy. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never liked Almond Joy. That is, what? I think that was one of the worst candies ever made. One I love Almond Joy. Oh, yeah. no. That was so mm -hmm. bad. I was like, I, can't, I just can't. I just hate that there's only one almond. Like my, like my body, my, like my body cannot consume Almond Joy. What? I, I literally, because I, I can't, I was like, spit it out. Like, <laughs> just that, <laughs> just immediately throws like, it All out. that coconut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Another thing too, you know how many times I've gone trick-or-treating as a kid and I never even finish my candy? Like, yeah. it'll be like a month goes by and there's still like 20 pieces of candy yeah. left over. Like, you yeah. never finish them. Yeah. yeah. You that, never. That's true. That's true. So, but, like, like, what does it really matter? <laughs> so well, she, she also talks about the size of the bars as well. She says, uh, oh. standard, full, or king-size candy is the bar. Pun intended. King we, size. We set for our community on she Halloween. Said pun intended. She said pun intended. She thinks she's a comedian. <laughs> you know, let people give out whatever candy they want. If they want to give out toothbrushes, let them give out toothbrushes. Or yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hated getting oranges and oranges. oranges. I hated I, people I, gave you fruit. Yeah, I, I used to go trick or treating in La Puente. If y'all know where that's at, and you know, it's 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 not very. Also, oh, they got it from their tree, and yeah, I'm I'm sure they did. It was the worst. Thing. I used to hate getting like toothpaste. I used to, like some a lot of houses used to give out like toothbrushes. She goes on to say, "Please, for God's sake, leave those peep candies alone. No one, and I mean no one, wants those terrible marshmallow tragedy tragedies." Wait, wait, hang on. I didn't even know that there was peeps. For, for Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Thank you. I've never that's heard of that in my life. That's right? Easter only. Like, who who is giving out peeps? Like, 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 how do you even how do you even give those out? They're just like sticky and just like put your hand on them. Your hand starts melting in the marshmallow. Like, no, like how do you the do little, that? Or just the give them the whole packs. box package. Like, like, for the elderly who hand out coins, 
Mm -hmm. Unless you plan on throwing some quarters into the mix, (laughs) stop peddling your pennies and step up your game this Halloween. It's a calculated loss to the trick-or-treaters after you adjust for inflation and the opportunity cost of what they could have received elsewhere if they had just skipped your house. (laughs) What? Opportunity (laughs) cost? It is not that serious. This is not a business transaction. This is Halloween. What you get is what you get. Right. (laughs) Have y'all ever gotten coins? On yeah, I, I think I have. Right? Yeah, I think I have a couple. Yeah. Just giving you change from their car, like, oh, hang on, and they're just walking out the door to their car to give you some change real quick. <laughs> I, I just love how like she put this like with the hand claps, like we. Oh, this my. And I hope that's just. We are in a fluent neighborhood, and our Halloween candy should reflect that. No, I think she goes. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Till next time, woo!